Oh, <laughs> that wasn't meant to have that much. We'll just have to swipe it off. Hi there. I bought this wall clock and it is quite pretty, but I actually thought I wanted to try and do a pour on it. The thing is, I'm gonna have to pull it apart to do that. But I am quite excited. It's glass and it is really pretty, but I think it will look prettier as a pour. So I'm thinking to doing it in blues and greens. And if the leaves and stuff show through, then that's fine too. Um, so wish me luck. I've got to get a screwdriver or something to undo the hands. And we'll see how we go. Well, I'm back again and I have mixed my colours. Let me show them to you. I I've got too many colours, I think, to be honest, but it gives me choice. So this is my metallic rainforest, um, but I've mixed it with a tiny bit of hooker's green from Global, I think. I don't know, from somewhere. This is my deep sea blue. This is my metallic jade, which I'm almost running out of from Holcroft. Then I've got a bit more of the hooker's green. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this yet though because I've run out of pouring medium. That's why I mixed a bit into the other one to make it darker. And then I've got a lot of, this is kind of a combination one that I've mixed of a couple of Holcroft blues um, and I think some cobalt blue from Global, I'm not sure. And then here I've got my Araldo metallic sand. So you can see I have a lot of colors, but what will I do with them? Which ones will I use? Now I've got here my, um, my clock. You can see I've very lightly gessoed it, just so that I can hopefully get the paint to stick to the glass. I like the fact that it has no edge, so it can just drip off. And um, I'm going to swipe it, but I'm not going to swipe a colour over it. So let us begin. Also, I've got to remember, not too much paint because the, the hands of the clock need to still be able to go onto it. Oh, I'm really not the best at doing that, am I? So I do love my blues and greens lately, which is why I decided to do another blue and green canvas. We'll see how we go. I might do just a tiny tad of green. Remembering that you've got to try and layer the colors so that they can create cells. I might do this blue next. I might start in the middle. Oh, that looks like a lot of paint already. Hopefully we can swipe some of it off. That would be good. Um, this metallic jade, I just love it. It's so pretty. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of paint, I think. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't meant to have that much. We'll just have to swipe it off. And our last, we'll do some, maybe in the gaps. Uh oh, too much. I 
I really hope this gives good cells. I have used um, my favorite product, as you all should know by now, my Coconut Miracle Oil, as the silicon. Okay, I personally, on smallish projects, have just found the best thing to swipe with is baby wipes. I'm already getting tiny little cells coming up. That's kind of cool. On some of these colours, I also mixed in um, some iridescent medium from Derivan, which is one of my favourite products. I just love it. All right. Let's swipe. Ooh, wow. Whoops. <laughs> Wipe on the edge. Ugh. Wow. I think that's gorgeous. Where is my heat gun? Actually, because this is glass. I don't think I'm going to torch it with my big propane torch. I'm just going to use the little baby one. Just to pop some bubbles and see what comes up. Pop those bubbles. I know there's a lot of bubbles to pop on this. I'm actually surprised... Almost none is dripping over. But I kind of wanted it to. Just trying to make it reach the edges. I guess I can always repaint the edge after. I don't want to tip it because there is gorgeous cells around the edge. But I want to get rid of, ah, ha, ha, maybe. I got this baster the other day. And my thought was that maybe I could get rid of some paint, but that's not really working. I do have... A little teat pipette thing as well. It's not really sucking up much paint, is it? And then it's not coming out. See, I just have to be very aware of the fact that... <coughs> Of the very of the fact that the hands of the clock have to still go in here so I'm just wondering can I re-swipe this bit no not really that didn't work did it Because that bit didn't really look like it had swiped. Well, it looks a little bit better, I suppose. Um, here we go. I worry about cracking the the glass too with too much paint. I mean with too much of the um, blowtorch. I really like it. There's just a couple spots that were going through to the glass. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna leave this here for a couple days to dry out. Today's a nice warm day. So I'm going to take you off the tripod 
and give you a look and fingers crossed this is just gonna stay looking good okay okay here we are and now I'm just gonna go around clockwise so you can see I wonder how long this will take to dry though. I like the edge bit that's the best with the dark blue. Just show you the middle. So, so far I'm really happy. Let's just hope it dries and either comes up with more cells or stays the same. Oops, blurry, sorry. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye.